In this session, I'm going to talk about uh, inserting smart art in a document in order to enhance it and make it more useful and visual for the reader. So here we have a document as we have added pictures, we have added other stuff. Now we are going here under the insert tab and then we're going to insert here the smart art. So you click on the smart art, by the way, it's basically just a graphic in order to visually enhance and communicate the information. Now here under smart art, we can pick any of these different options. So notice you have process. And these options, by the way, are available in both Excel and PowerPoint as well. So let's say if we go here under relationship and then we click on the funnel option. Now the way smart art works is that basically you type the text here and then the system populates it automatically. So it basically formats it automatically for you. Now, one important concept here to understand is that smart art, whenever you create it, you can't just add as many options as you want. You have to kind of work within the constraints of that design for bringing about your idea and explaining your idea. So you can't add five more things to add here to the funnel. So let's say we type here Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and then the result is Let's say that's the result. So we have Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and then we have here the Microsoft Office Suite. If you wanted to change those, by the way, sometimes this will be hidden. So if you close it, for some reason you don't see this, you can click on it and notice there is this expanding arrow here on the left. You click on it and it will bring the options back up. Or you can simply click on each one of those, but it's more time consuming and type the text in there as well. Now, what you can do is you can format this design. Notice there are the smart tools that show up here. The smart art tools. And you could format this, make it three dimensional or however you want. But notice you can also change the colors to make it more visual. Another option is if you click on it, if you don't like this design, you can always go and choose a different design and add more stuff to it. Of course, it depends on whether that design works for you or not. So you have to kind of get the right concept for that application. The idea here is that even if you remove one of those items, let's say I want to remove this. You can either remove it here from the left or by simply clicking on this box and deleting it. Notice everything resizes automatically and that's partially I think why it's called smart art because it automatically readjusts to whatever it is designed to look like without you having to spend the rest of the afternoon tinkering with it. Again under the formatting here you can still format this further and you can choose the layout, the filling, the different colors and customize it to your liking. You can also arrange this so that to wrap the text around it if you need it, very similar to how we did it for the picture, or behind it and so on. So now notice that's kind of in the middle and notice the text, it's wrapped all around it. So you get the idea. So it's a very powerful tool in making your design, your document more visual. Thank you.